Unlike celebrities who may have been born with theirs, many women pay thousands for shapely behinds. There's FDA-approved silicone implants or injections of fat from elsewhere in the body. But as the night team's Jesse De Guiado reports in this Defenders investigation, some people are paying hundreds for injections of silicone that you buy at a hardware store. Now, we do have a warning for you. Some of you might find the images in this story disturbing. Would you want this in your body? Goopy white silicone is already considered harmful if swallowed or absorbed through the skin. Too often women are not told that they're going to be injected with silicone like this, the kind typically used for caulking. No, they don't know um, until they start experiencing complications. You don't need an operating room. You buy a bunch of syringes and you, you open up a hotel room. Allegedly, these women use spas in the McGallan area, owned by one of them. They're all now accused of practicing medicine without a license. It is illegal for anyone to inject you with anything if they're not a doctor or a registered nurse working with a doctor. He says several of their clients came to see him with the painful consequences. Uneven lumps and bumps, painful sores as the silicone rises to the surface. Silicone also can migrate through the bloodstream, causing serious infections or even a stroke if it gets into the lungs. A high price to pay for a cheap procedure. But what it causes is a really bad inflammatory reaction and that you can see it on an MRI and you can never get rid of it ever unless the affected area is removed or amputated how do you cut this out without leaving horrible mutilating scars on their butt so far no known cases in San Antonio however we're concerned that there could be victims um, now or there could be victims in the future Jesse de Goyado case at 12 news Late this afternoon, the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Office confirmed at least two victims and a possible third may have died as a result of silicone. However, they are awaiting final autopsy results. To report anyone giving these types of injections, call the FBI at 225-6741.